This is Lesson 6-5, which is Properties of Logarithms. Our essential question is, how are the properties of logarithms used to simplify expressions and solve logarithmic equations? So the properties of logs are similar to the properties of exponents. So if we have a log of two, um, two values that are being multiplied, we can expand that into addition. If we have a log of two values that are being divided, we expand that to subtraction. And then if we have log of a value raised to a power, that can expand to multiplication with the exponent coming out front. So we're going to look at that with some examples. So our first example, so how can you use the properties of logs to expand? So we're expanding on this. So you'll notice that the a and the b are being multiplied, so that's going to expand to addition. So this would be log base 5 of a squared plus log base 5 of b to the 7th. Then our final step would be to take the exponents and put them out front. So this would be 2 log base 5 of a plus 7 log base 5 of b. So that would be the expanded form of that log. So then on for b, we have natural log of 25 over 3. So that's division. So that would expand to natural log of 25 minus natural log of 3. And for this one, you could actually verify that on your calculator because we can type in natural log of 25. We can type in natural log of 3. Um, Sometimes another way to look at this too is if you think of 25, 25 can be written as natural log of 5 squared. So then, oops, so we could write this as 2 natural log of 5 minus natural log of 3. So we could simplify that even a little bit further. Okay, for the next example, we are condensing. So now we're going in the opposite direction. So the first thing I want to do, it's kind of backwards process of what we did on the previous problems. So the first thing I'm going to do is move all of our multiplication values up as exponents. So this would be log base 4 of m to the 4th plus log base 4 of n cubed minus log base, oops, minus log base 4 of p. Now it's important to understand it says single logarithm. So a mistake people make often with this is they want to write log three times still. When you're writing it as a single log, you need to write down the log one time. So this would be log base 4 of, and then I'm going to put everything in parentheses here, so this would be m to the 4th times n cubed, because addition is going to turn into multiplication, and then the minus is going to turn into division, so be divided by p. So that would be how you would write that one as a single log. Same process on the second one. So I'm going to write this as natural log of 2 cubed minus natural log of 5 squared. And then as a single log, my dog decided now is a good time to take a drink. Okay, so um, natural log of 2 cubed over 5 squared. So that's how we write that as a single log. Okay, so example five is evaluate logarithmic expressions by changing the base. So how can you use base 10 logs to evaluate base two logarithms? So if I have something like log base two of three, I'm gonna to switch to the calculator for a minute and I am gonna show you how to type this in the calculator. But change of base formula says that we have we can t change this into log base 10 or log base e, which are both buttons on your calculator. So we could write this as log of 3 divided by log of 2. So I'm going to show you if you're using, let's clear this. So if you're using the Calculate 84 app or you have a, a TI-84 calculator, so we can type this in using, so log of 3 divided by log of 2, and hit enter, and then that gives us a value. 
If you have a TI-84 calculator, there actually is a way to change the base. And it is, got to remember this, I think it is alpha window, yes. So if you hit the green alpha and then the window button and then scroll down to where it says log base and hit enter. So now I'm going to put log base 2 of 3. So that was the problem that we were looking at. If I hit enter, you'll notice that those values are the same. So that's how change of base works. Um, the other thing you could do is you could do natural log of 3 divided by natural log of 2. Oops, got too many parentheses in there. And that also gives you the same value. So when you're changing the base, you probably want to change it either to log or natural log. That's going to be the easiest. Okay. So then using this to solve. So what is the solution to the equation 2 to the x equals 7? So if we have 2 to the x equals 7, we can't, we we know in our minds we can't think of 2 to the what power equals 7. So we can't use guess and check. So we could turn this into a log so that we can evaluate this. So this would be log base 2 of 7 equals x. And what we just talked about in the previous example is we can use change of base to evaluate that. So this would be log of 7 divided by log of 2. So then we can go back to our calculator and type in log of 7. Oops, keep messing up with the parentheses. Divided by log of 2. And so we get 2.81. So this would be, so x would be 2 point. Okay, so that is how we use the change base. And um, we'll look about, in the next lesson, we'll look more about how we use those properties of expanding and condensing to solve more complicated log equations and exponential equations as well.